by Sam. Welcome to, um, well, it's part one of the DBS build, but we're not doing any building today at all. Uh, I've got a little bit I want to chat about. I want to quick look through the kit as well. I did want to take up a whole part of the build process and stick a bit of the prep at the end. Just look, we'll get this out of the way, and then we can come back and get the kit really rolling. So we spoke about this kit last time in the bench update. I went through the box quickly. We're going to go through it a little bit more depth, not a lot. There's no point doing a full review because this kit's long out of production. It's really hard to get. Um, so in my eyes, there's no real point doing it. We'll look through the kit. I'll pick out pertinent bits, important bits. Quick look at the instructions, the decals, and we'll go from there. Just to make a point of this kit, I think it's been out of production for two, three years now. There's one on eBay right now, £86 with five days left. It's going to go well over 100 quid. Uh, it's crazy. Trust me, I thought about selling this. I've wanted to build it for a while. I've not been able to get one. And those in the UK will have seen these in Hobbycraft all day long and uh, passed them by. And yeah. Anyway, so in the last bench update, I asked for suggestions on colours. Loads of you came up with some absolutely superb colours. I was kind of settled on that uh, Bentley Racing Green. I test sprayed it, it looked awful. I mean, horrible. Uh, the green was horrible, the, the flakes in it were massive, the gold and silver, oh, it just looked vile. Uh, it's not splash paint, it's just that colour. It's just one of those things, it just didn't look right at all. That'll be the reason I didn't put on the Caterham. <laughs> but I test sprayed it, cleared it, it looked even worse than the clear, so I was like, yeah, that's out the window. Um, my buddy Luke, Luke Carswell, uh, Black Rifle Model Works, go check out his channel. Um, he suggested silver, and I test sprayed silver, it looked great, and I was very nearly committing to silver, think, okay, we'll do it silver. Problem with silver is on camera, it doesn't look great, it doesn't really show any depth, it's like white. So I wanted something with a little bit of a deeper colour. I was cruising Google, looking at pictures of DBSs, and I found this, Vertigo Blue, fell in love with it and thought, that's the colour we're doing. So I've ordered it from Zero Paint. It'll be here tomorrow. I've got some Ferrari beige leather colour as well on the way, which is this colour. So we're going to do the interior like that. So it's going to look nice. Hopefully it'll turn out well. It's going to look good. Now the wheels, really going to keep the wheels, um, the colour they are out of the box, because the chrome is fantastic out of the box. Or we'll do them in a gunmetal colour. I'm not going black. I'm not a fan of black wheels. They always look like steel wheels to me. Um, but I'm thinking maybe a darker gun metal or something like that. Again, we're, we're spitballing now because until we get into the build, uh, my main focus at the beginning of a build is prime prep, primer, paint, clear. Once that's done, I'm happy I'll move on with the build. So the wheels, I'm not sure about. There's chrome grill, chrome side plates on the wings, and there's chrome around the windows. I don't think I want to leave the chrome. I think I'd like to do something else with that, uh, but I'm not sure what yet. We shall see whether, again, we go with gunmetal or we do them black. Um, I'm not sure. Unsure. Not sure. I've not really spoke about it or uh, thought about it much yet. Uh, and there's a diffuser on the back. I've seen a few people carbon, which would be good to cover in the videos. I do get asked about that quite a lot. So maybe we'll cover that at a later date as well. So that's that. So what we're going to do in a minute, we're going to head over to overhead, have a look at the kit. First of all, a couple of things. Uh, number one. There's a full Subaru build series. I did ages ago. It's a techniques guide. It's how I do each step. Uh, it's about 12 parts long, I think, or 10. I forget now. And it's in-depth at each stage. So it covers priming, base colours, clear coat, decaling, interiors. We're not going to cover those fully in this build. We're going to skip through and build the kit. So if you want to look more in-depth, go look at the Subaru build. It's linked in the description down below. And you can look at every step as you go along the way. I've also linked in uh, the decaling video, decanting TS sprays, which we'll probably show in this video again as well anyway, uh, and so on and so forth. What I've also done as well, because even though I make the videos and I explain this stuff in the videos, obviously some people mustn't be paying attention, um, and I get messaged about things I've answered in the videos. So what I've done now is, took me ages, and I still haven't finished, as I've compiled a list of everything I use and a link to anywhere it can be bought from. It's in the description down below. Tools, sanders, airbrushes, paints, thinners, cleaners, uh, masks, lights, camera, lights, action. Uh, it's all in there. So have a look at the list if you're watching. Uh, help me out and let me know if there's anything missing or anything that's important that could be added and I'll try and add it in there as well. Another thing, if you click on it and you live in the States, or Australia and you get a link to UK eBay and you can't buy it 
rather than messaging me asking where you can get it from, Google it. Copy what, I've, what it's under, the title. If it's Seatbelt Studio 27, I'll have a code. Put it into Google and it'll find it and you can look locally for it then. Because um, that's all I have to do for you. Um, I've got no problem being messaged. If you've got any questions at all about the build, message me. You can message me direct on Facebook via the Paul ISM in the comments down below. I've got no problem answering uh, questions at all. Uh, it can get frustrating answering questions I've already answered in the video. I've been told you've watched which I'm sure you understand. But this list will hopefully help people and um, it'll save down on the confusion as well. So look out if you think anything's missing, please let me know and I'll add it and we can move on from there. Um, that's about it really, not much else to cover. Hopefully the first part will be up in a couple of days. Uh, we're going to concentrate on prepping the body, priming it, painting it and probably 2K it as well. Because there's no real decals on this, we can really speed through the bodywork on it and then we'll focus on the engine bay, running gear, interior final touches gonna try and keep these videos down to 20 minutes it's hard to do so hard to do the amount of footage you get I'll, I'll get like two three hours footage per video and i'll go try and condense that and voice over it for like 20 minutes it could be difficult to do i'm gonna try and do it if i can but if not it, it, it'll be the length of this um i think in the last videos were half an hour or so but i'll try and condense them down i'll make shorter videos which may more than may mean there's more of them so instead of three videos we may get five. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. We'll play that one by you. If you've got any comments, suggestions, or anything, please message me or let me know in the comments and I'll address them and we'll go from there. So that's it. Let's go over here. Let's have a look at the kit and see what we've got in there. So, as I say, no point doing a full review of this. I'll well just have a quick look through the box, see what we're dealing with, quick look through the instructions, and then crack on with the build. Um, so nice box art on the front shows the DBS in a beautiful metallic black with the silver rims. Very, very nice colour. We've got some side profile, front and back profile as well, and on the other side a view from above. Now as you can see this is the photo watch set as well. So we do have some photo watch parts in there as well which we'll get to in a minute. Instructions as you can see all my kit is unbagged. So Literally everything is out. We've already like that one up water. Don't ask me why, it just was. So we'll deal with the bits as we go. Clear parts. Um, front rear screen, side windows, all there's one section there. I'll zoom in a touch so you can see and move that. Um, nothing too untoward there. Everything is in good condition. Would like to see another sprue point on the back of this to stop that flopping around there, but they've held on well, so it's not too bad. Rear lights, front lights. Uh, indicators these look like mounts of some sort by the look of it um, but the parts are all clear a few marks on the glass because it's been debagged unfortunately um, but there's not much you can do about that we can polish those out should we need to but the clear parts look good body shell looks good as well got a little bit of dust on it unfortunately it looks pretty clean seam lines run from the back down the rear wing and then from just in front of the a pillar down the side of the front wing, a little bit down the front, in front of the light just there as well. A um, couple of swirls in the plastic, which are pretty standard, they can stay there, they're their own issue. Um, so the seam continues on the back with the spoiler there built in as well, down the bumper and across into the rear lights. So not a massive amount of cleanup needed there. The kit's dated 2010. And like I say, this thing's very hard to find, and if you can find it, it fetches absolutely ridiculous money. Now we've got the bonnet or hood, if you're American. Um, it looks like an under tray as well, more than the same grey black metallic plastic. All looks good too, no issues there. Uh, it's got the usual marbling effect on the plastic, but that would be detrimental at all. Really thick sprue gate there as well. Um, so that's going to be, need some care to cut off. Make sure you don't damage it. And it is a movable bonnet as well, as so you can see the engine detail inside. Now, I think the only part we're going to glue on is this front bumper. Wing mirrors are there as well, all nicely made. Part of the uh, running gear chassis. Uh, there's another body panel there as well. And again, all moulded really nice, nice and crisp. All in the same colour plastic. No issues there. Nice seams on the wing mirrors to remove, so... Just pay attention when you're doing it, have a look around. There's nothing worse than thinking you've got it all covered, you come to prime it, and there the seams right in your face. Interior, so we've got the interior uh, bucket there, I suppose it is, the dashboard, the seats, very, very narrow seats. Dashboard's pretty nicely 
depicted there. Some nice console instrument panels, what have you, on there. Steering wheel's good. Uh, selectors are at the back there as well. Looks like an armrest. Brake discs look good as well. We've already discussed these. Uh, they could be drilled out, but to be honest, they'll be, look better sprayed and with a wash in there as they are. Door cards are there. Not sure what that part is. Instrument binnacle there, handbrake, so on and so forth. So again, no problems there with those parts. The chrome parts now, these are actually really nicely done. And the front grille is nice. There's some detail parts for the sides there as well. The wheels are really, really nice. But don't know if we're going to go with the shine. Well, we, we'll probably go two ways. This. We'll either leave that finish on there and have them nice and shiny. Or we'll go with a different colour, more of a gum metal or something like that. I'll have a little think. If you've got any views or opinions, let me know. Um, the grill, again, we're either going to leave it chrome or we're going to black it or carbon, you know, like a darker colour, gunmetal colour again. Um, I don't know. We're going to have to play this one by you until we get into the build. Exhaust tips look good. So the chrome's really nice. It's not a really bright chrome. It's really well done. Really nice. We're more than happy to leave that as it is. We've got the running gear, uh, chassis, sorry. Again, nice, it's a big car, it really is a big car. The chassis is nearly 19 centimeters long, so it's a good size car. We've got wheel arches, there's the engine depicted there as well. It's a bit of a false engine, it's there, but it's not. And most of it's covered by an engine cover, which we'll get to in a minute, we do. Rear diffuser, more suspension components, again there as well, brake calipers, uh, parts of the lights, window wipers anti-roll bar, so on and so forth. And again, molding nice black plastic. Can't see any issues on there at all. We've got our tires in there with the single screw. They are road tires. Let's see if they are marked with a manufacturer. It'd be nice if they were. But sadly, they are not. That's a disappointment, really is. Tammy obviously did want to get the uh, license for that. We've got four poly caps in there too. And then our last sprue is the engine cover, which looks to be white, rear differential, exhaust, exhaust. Looks like a strut brace for the bonnet. And again, all really nicely depicted. The detail on that is really good. Obviously, we'll seal this painted up as we go. It does look really, really nice. It's a very, very nice kit. So that's the kit itself. Let's have a look at some of these parts. I did not open up the photo the other day in the bench of debt. We had a very quick look, but we certainly will now. Let's come in and have a look at these. These are our decals. So we've got various decals. We've got number plates around, instrument binnacles, Aston Mark logos, etc., etc. Decals look really good. They're not going to give any issues at all. Yep, very nice DBS logos, so they're pretty good. Nice decals. We've got the mass set for the front, rear, and side screens, I'm guessing. Again, that uh, pre-cut as well, which is always good to see. And I did want to open this up the other day, but we will now. So, we've got the metal decal transfer thingies. So, most of these go on the engine cover. That's the Martin logo 6.0 V12 DBS rear view mirror, side view mirrors. These are the metallic self adhesive decals, so they're always a nice touch to get. And then we've got our photo etch. This is probably Tamiya's typical steel photo etch, it's very thick, it doesn't feel as thick as usual actually. And mostly it depicts grills. Um, got some pedal accelerator, brake, and clutch. Um, we've got a nice name placard there as well, that's the Martin DBS. Front grill, grills for the bonnet, uh, bumpers, so on and so forth. And a very nice touch, very, very rare to get photo etch and Tammy kit as standard, really rare. So if you get it, enjoy it because uh, you more than likely won't see it again. But it's a nice photo etch and it's really going to add a lot to the kit. So I'm going to chuck these back in there with all this malarkey. Bear with me a second, and we'll have a quick look through the instructions, and we'll look first on how the body is going to assemble. Let me zoom back out. So, as you see, it's time to start off the brakes and the engine and whatnot, but we're not. We're not going to start there. We're going to focus on the bodywork first, because it's the bit that takes, not the longest, but 
takes a bit of care to do. So there we are. So on the bodywork itself, we've got the grills attaching to the bumper. We'll do those later. The front bumper glue is in place there. We're going to mount there, that'll be for that screw we saw earlier. Let's have a look where else we've got. We've got that plate on the back there as well, which must glue in place on top, so that needs to be glued in as well before we spray it. Just having a look. Yeah, we've got our number plate. Um, I guess you call them surrounds to choose. Two different shapes. And then on the bodywork, I'm guessing that's about it. But yeah, there's the rear diffuser. I've seen a lot of people carbon these. It looked a bit of a nightmare. So I'm not entirely sure what to do there. But it would be good to cover carbon in the video as well. So maybe we'll do that. And that's it really. So to start the bodywork, we've got the seams to remove. We've got to glue the front bumper in place. This rear um, plate under the rear spoiler needs to be glued in place too. And then mirrors, that's it. So that's all that needs prepping for getting the bodywork sprayed and we can crack on. And then we'll go back um, and probably start with the chassis, get the chassis all painted up ready. And then we'll start with the running gear engine and move forward that way. So I'm not entirely sure how many parts we're gonna be in this video. I'm aiming for four at the max. Gonna try and do them a little bit shorter, try and keep them to 20 minutes. It's really hard to do though to get as much coverage in there. So we'll see what we can do there, but that's the kit. Um, and it looks great. Sadly, really hard to get a hold of, so it's just one of those things. It's a kit I've always wanted to build, and that's why we're building it now. So there we are. Okay, there we go. So as you can see, it's quite a simple kit. You'd think there'd be a lot more to it than that, and it's not. So it should be a nice build. The body looks great on it. The engine cover looks good as well. Modern engines never look great. You can't really see much of them anymore. Um, but the wheels are nice. That chrome is beautiful on the kit. It really is. Um, and the interior looks good as well, it should look nice in that base and the vertigo blue is going to look stunning on that bodywork as well. So there we are. So like I say, if you've got any comments or suggestions, please let me know either by PM uh, on Facebook, my Paul ISM page, in the comments down below on YouTube as well. A little bit behind on catching up on comments, so we'll get to those today. Um, and like I say, if you've got any suggestions, please let me know, or anything missing out that list as well, let me know anything you can add. So there we are. As always, check out the Sky Model Facebook page and forum, umpretail.com, uh, my Paul ISM Facebook page, the Live at the Bench group for the live show as well, and the Off Air Hangout group for all Off Air Hangouts as well. And there we are. So I'll catch you all next time. See you later. Bye.